Hello everyone, Gifted Soul here back for another Pick a Card reading. And this Pick a Card reading is going to be your weekly energy predictions or just possibly whatever spirit wants to reveal, which could even be just advice. Um, this is going to be relevant for June 13th through the 19th. Um, so yeah, so I have three piles as usual, one, two, and three. Please select which one that you would like, whichever one is you feel drawn to the most. If you need more time before I get started, just pause and then return when you are ready. And there will be timestamps that you can refer to within the pinned comment and also the description box below. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Keep in mind that these are collective, meaning that it's not going to resonate with everyone that crosses path with, with it. It is also entertainment purpose only. If you would like a more personalized reading where I am catering to your energy in, in specific, please consider booking a private reading with me via my Etsy shop or my website. I will see you guys in pile one. Hello, Pile One. This is again energy regarding this week, June 13th through 19th. So let's see what we have. Um, we have King of Swords. We also have Four of Pentacles. Okay, so for me, the King of Swords is all about kind of putting up a fight towards something that you are really wanting in your life whether it's money whether it's a relationship whatever the case is this is saying that you are willing to put in a lot of effort to get to where you are wanting to be and I do feel like there's going to be a lot of leeway for you um, this week to maneuver around any obstacles that may have been in your way as of last week or just any time previously um the four of pentacles is stability it is security but it's also sometimes possessiveness the spirit says do not get too carried away this week but just know that there's going to be like i said some loopholes that you can crawl through um opportunity to forgive Okay, so some of you, this could be a romantic relationship or just in general, someone that maybe has um, pushed your buttons or have said something or done something to offend you. Maybe you possibly did something and you don't know what you did, but somebody is kind of possibly punishing you for it. But it looks like this week there's going to be some type of open communication for some of you where you are able to put your differences aside and let go of whatever it was that happened to make it something that needed to be forgiven if that makes sense so the situation brings you the opportunity to heal grow and release negative patterns hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness we will help you release unforgiving thoughts feelings and energies and lead you to a higher place of peace and compassion so um yeah i feel like this could be more stability within um some type of relationship possibly but for some of you this is money and career related um but yeah and forgive so okay of course anger can always be justified but then so can forgiveness just depends on how much more you want from the adventure go for the go for gobs the universe so opportunity to forgive and forgive so pretty much even if this forgiveness isn't to happen this week the message here for you guys is to work is to at least work towards forgiveness see the situation from the other person's perspective dig a little bit deeper and just to work on forgiving maybe to work on your anger um this even could be things that have happened years ago that you're kind of still stuck on and maybe traumatized by spirit is saying to be more open to forgiving that because that's going to Number one is going to block your path and your success um, for this week, especially if you're still harboring on to those things and, and just in general. So until you forgive, you're going to always kind of with the four of pentacles, like I said, it is possessiveness. So you're kind of being you're overanalyzing something that has happened possibly a long time ago. 
or maybe like I said it could have even been recently but spirit says you're kind of thinking about it too much so this week is the week to kind of work on letting that go okay so we have embrace your confusion let there be peace of not knowing all the answers so yeah peace coming to a peaceful resolution there's a lot of blue here which is bringing me toward the uh throat chakra so you need to verbally forgive someone maybe even reach out to somebody this week and um you know let them know that you forgive them so that you can be at peace it's funny that it comes in this order because you have forgive and peace if you don't forgive you're constantly going to be you know in a place of darkness and you're never going to have peace of mind so forgive so that you can be at this state and so you can release any confusion you're confused because again you're kind of so stuck on what somebody else has done to the point where you're not even realizing hey you know maybe whatever they said or did was a way for them to heal because i feel like this is about also speaking truths as well and being at peace with accepting something that somebody has said to you even though you you know you kind of don't understand it um so yeah so we have when we ask for guidance take action and put our faith in an outcome we can't yet see we've begun to dance with grace so dance so dancing is pretty much about freeing yourself allowing yourself to have fun releasing negativity and like i said i do feel like you're going to be able to maneuver around certain obstacles and this is just saying you're going to be able to dance your way out of it is what i feel um maybe spirit is saying this week to get into some music um let your hair down just have fun and don't worry about all of this stuff that has happened last week last month last year or even yesterday just kind of dance for today live for today so we have the loving woman so the loving woman could be a bout possible so there's more blue here so keep that in mind throat chakra but the loving woman is about a female energy coming into your life or possibly somebody already into your life who is trying to provide you with wisdom take care of you in some type of way provide you with advice nurture or nourishment to something or within your own self um for those of you that are thinking romantic wise male or female this could be a female coming into your life um to either help you with your romance or this could just be the woman that you would be loving now if you are a male or female regardless of your sexuality or whatever take it as it resonates it does not have to be a woman could be somebody with just more feminine energy we all have a balance of feminine and masculine energy just some more than others so keep that in mind and maybe this is a week for you to kind of work on that as well balancing your femininity as well um but yeah Some of you could possibly come across a woman this week that's going like i said they're going to help you this isn't necessarily about romance they're gonna there's somebody that really cares about you could even be a family member um could be somebody new coming in or a close friend who is here to help you and again somebody that you may need to listen to um this could even be the person that you needing to forgive as well for some of you this week and it could be something that's going to happen this week where there's going to be a need for forgiveness to be in order this doesn't even have to be about something that has happened a long time ago so keep that in mind so surrender your desire to control people being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals back off regroup and give the situation some breathing room so um oftentimes we think we can fix people and we sometimes maybe even think we're somebody's boss um but this is saying to let somebody come into their own realizations and not force it to come out so i feel like you're trying to force this person or first force someone regardless of what the connection is here somebody is possibly trying to force someone to come out of a certain pattern or to maybe even to forgive 
um, or if this is not you, this could be somebody that you maybe are thinking about or somebody just in general within your energy. Um, Spirit says to try not to get in the habit of trying to make things happen the way that you want them to. Give the situation some time. And um, because if you are trying to force it and you're trying to make things happen, sometimes, like it says, you're going to sabotage it more than do it good. So uh, we have spiritual careers. So some of you are needing to be working on your spiritual career this week or getting it started. Some of you may even be getting it started this week. Um, Spirit is saying, or this could also even be a suggestion that this is the time for you to get it started. And it's possible that whoever this energy is, they're going to be helping you as well. Um, yeah. And the spiritual career is going to allow for you to have more stability as well. Not even just finance, financial wise, but in general, like general happiness and um, in all aspects of your life. So we have divine order. Archangel Ragwell, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. So like I said um, in previous readings, sometimes we see things the way we want to see them rather than how they are actually being played out. Uh, so Spirit says to kind of switch your perspective. And know that everything that is happening is happening for a reason and that the synchronicities that is happening in trust that order things are happening in that order because they are supposed to so don't try to change the timing don't try to force different timing or different outcomes everything is happening as it should this week or even this could be just advice to work on so enlightenment yeah, so some awakenings here, um, possibly this week. Like I said, maybe you're going to finally start to see and come into realizations as to why things are happening. And there's possibly some unexpected changes coming as well. Um, and I do feel like for some of you, you are going to be receiving some unexpected communication or out of the blue um, communication. This kind of reminds me of the tower because this is what the tower is all about. It's not necessarily a negative message. It's just saying that it's a part of your spiritual growth where if something is going to fall apart, let it and not force it to go any other route. If it's meant to be a certain route, it's going to happen eventually. So just let it do what it's supposed to do right now, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah could be out of the blue communication or even if you have been talking to someone every day they're going to say something to you that you're not going to be expecting them to say um not necessarily good not necessarily bad just pay attention to the events that happened this week and see what happens again not going to resonate for everyone but you know so patience yeah having patience I feel like this is going to be about your spiritual career more than anything. But in general, it's saying having patience. Like, it goes back to surrender your need to control people. Give people time to change and not try to change it yourself. Um, because once you do that, you are putting yourself in a cycle and just allowing for things to stay the same. So, there needs to be patience with possibly this person here, whoever this is for some of you. Um, and there also needs to be patience with your spiritual career because it's not going to take off as soon as you get started for some of you. Um, you may have to give it maybe spirit is saying seven to eight days or weeks or possibly a need to wait seven to eight months to kind of get it started. But I feel like for some of you, this would be the week. Um, but spirit is saying that if not refer to this number. Uh, your spiritual career what I'm saying taking off I mean it's not that people are not going to notice it's just that maybe the number of sales that you would like to put out there or having a lot of people notice you and notice your talents it may take time you're going to get few in between so keep that in mind so have patience with those numbers 
and yeah and also this is about if you're not ready to forgive someone give yourself time but definitely you don't want to be stuck on this for the rest of your life um or for months to come so try to work on this week working all of that out um so or this is a need for like i said for you to reach out to someone and forgive them and say hey i forgive you that does not mean that you have to take them back into your life or put up with their behavior this is just so that you can be at peace and move forward whether you choose to do that with or without them so that is the weekly energy for pile number one i hope this resonates please let me know what you think about it in the comments what you'd like to see me do next on my channel and if you would like to see me do weekly readings more often Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Welcome, pile number two. This is your weekly energy forecast, what you should work, work on or what may happen, whatever spirit wants to reveal about this week for you. So let's see. We have Knight of Cups. And the Wheel, which is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so I feel like there's a need to have more control over your emotions this week. I'm going to need to fix this really quick. Okay, so like I was saying, I had to reposition. But anyways, so like I was saying, there's a need to have more control over your emotions this week. And a need for you to take a chance on something. Anytime I get the wheel, most of the time I'm being guided to say take a chance on something. Because when you're spinning a wheel, like on those game shows and stuff, you never know what the, um, whatever that little thingy is, you never know what that's going to land on. But you will never know if you don't try. So Spirit says to put more effort into something and to take, like, I, like it says, or like I said, take a chance on something. And this is actually another representation of, uh, in a way, the Fool card, if you will. If you're looking at it the way that I'm looking at it. Um, but yes, this is about a need to be brave at something. And like I said, take a chance on something. Um, pile number one talked about feminine energy like I said or like I always say we always have a balance of feminine and masculine everyone does just some more than others the knight of cups is wanting you to really work on your masculine energy this week for pile number two um, and Yeah. I feel like this is also about moving at your own pace, not allowing anybody to stop you from doing what you are wanting to do and not allowing even the weather to stop you. Seeing your obstacle as a challenge a fun challenge if that makes sense so this week you're needing to work on grounding yourself um and standing firm in your actions is what i feel so it says when you detach from awareness of your body in the physical world you become ungrounded although it's pleasant to float heavenward your attention and work are needed upon the earth we're helping you balance the spiritual material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life so yeah and some of you could be water signs or could be uh dealing with water sign energy as well if could be possibly it doesn't have to be um and purple always reminds me i don't know if it's just me but purple always reminds me of aquariuses it's not even just air signs but aquariuses in particular um but could even be air sign as well and purple is also a crown chakra psychic development intuition type of card so following your intuition and allowing that to guide you forward throughout this week 
Um, so we have more purple. Turn on your love light. Seeing things from a place of love. Seeing the bright side of even the darkest of situations. Um, even though the wheel is a pleasant card, it talks about destiny. It talks about uh, fortune. And fortune even in this particular deck, it looks like it's darker. It's kind of like a darker type of energy. So some of you... Like I said in Paul 1, not trying to change the destiny, allowing it to go where it's supposed to go. Um, and this is about finding a light at the end of the tunnel and getting to where you are meant to be. Once you have yourself grounded here this week, you'll be able to see a lot more possibilities coming toward you and more doors opening sometimes the best way to remain sane is to love like crazy works for me the universe so just put in love in everything that you do everything that you say make sure you're saying positive connotations so that you can manifest positive outcomes and situations and even people around you this week um chase your dreams you may be surprised by where they lead you so achievement so yeah a lot of achievement coming up for this week even though it may be small steps you're still getting somewhere and there's still progress so i definitely do see maybe one or two goals coming into fruition for you guys this week um i feel like a lot of these are going to be reached outdoors i don't know what that is saying um but that's what i'm being called to bring up Manage your mind when we direct our thoughts and world toward the outcome we most desire, we ignite grace. So yeah, like I said, once you kind of switch your mind uh, set to just love and all things, like I said, seeing the silver lining in different situations of your life, you'll start to see more things happening in the way that you want them to happen. So mindfulness. Being mindful, being mindful is about being aware. Um... And I feel like this is about focusing on the small details as well as the big ones. The smallest details are often a part of the bigger picture in the story and then the rest of the story. So Spirit says do not um, exclude the small things just because they're small. And this could be regarding anything. Um, this is intuition and manifestation. Okay, so I got think I have all these backwards. So this is definitely upright. Uh, we have spirit. So intuition and manifestation. So like I said, allowing your intuition, and we have more of the purple color here, allow for your intuition to guide you along this week and to guide you within certain goals or certain things that you're trying to achieve, especially for this week. Like I said, it's going to cause for you to be able to manifest a lot of different things. But if you don't listen to those messages and you don't listen to your inner self, you're going to stay stuck. Surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn a dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help you bring clarity or even solve the problem. So, um, so pile number one is was talking about possessiveness, and possessiveness is a way is is another way of saying being obsessed with something. So, obsessed means that you're it doesn't mean you're crazy it just means you're paying too much attention to one thing and you're forgetting about everything else that's around you so um spirit says to make sure that you are dedicating more time to each aspect of your life and not just focused on one thing one situation one person i told somebody this recently in a private reading i think <clears throat> where the advice was to make sure that you are giving devoting some time to all aspects and not just one area it's not going to get up and leave okay so i was briefly cut off so i have no idea what i was saying um but yeah so individuality kind of focusing on yourself and like I said, give an individual attention to multiple aspects of your life. Give some attention to your finances. Give some attention to your home. 
give some attention to your relationship, give some attention to yourself. Just different things, not just focus and obsessed over one thing is what I was saying, I think. Uh, so, beloved one, Archangel Shemuel, I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So, this could be towards a passion. doesn't have to be a person or a soulmate connection with the person. Keep it in mind, we have multiple um, soulmate connections, and they're not always in human form. So, keep that in mind. It could also just be spiritual, as it says here. So, um, having some achievement with some type of soulmate connection or passion this week. Again, could be small milestones. Doesn't mean you're going to completely overstep an obstacle, but you're going to, it's going to be progress in doing that. All right. So we have change. So there's going to be a lot of change here, and it could be your mind changing about certain things. Um, it could be a need for you to take, make a change, make some small changes this week. Um, just changing the way you think about things the way you see things and just in general there's going to be a change and you are needing to follow your intuition to guide you and help you cope with that change it's not necessarily a negative change but there are going to be some things that may challenge you this week so we have standstill stand still so to me this is about slow progress and i feel like some of you are not used to slow progress you're used to things kind of jumping ahead pretty fast but this week is going to be kind of slow however it's good that it's going to be slow and as being in a standstill is kind of like you not knowing what to do and how to move forward but this thing happening slowly is giving you more time to prepare for it and giving you more time to prepare for something different than what you have had in mind so this week is just a lot about working on um, change and working on your emotions listening to your intuition more and just working on achieving things one thing at a time so that is pile number two's reading i wish you love and light i hope that it resonated please let me know what you would like to see me do next on my channel and um what message you took away from this reading so if you heard that that was my nephew um i don't even know if you could have heard him anyway because i paused it as soon as he started talking but um anyway yeah so that is, like I said, pile two. I wish you guys love and light, and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, so welcome to those of you who have picked pile three. This is your weekly energy predictions, advice, whatever spirit wants to reveal about the week or things that you should work on. If, um, if you would like a personalized reading, the links will be in the description box below. Also, the decks I'm using will be there as well. So we have Page of Wands and the Chariot. So some positive movement forward with an idea that you may have had. An idea that may have kind of started off prematurely, but now it's going to, this is the week for you to start seeing progress within that idea or for you to go forward with this idea. We have, yes, Creative Project. So your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. You're guiding, we're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reunites passion towards your life. So yeah, page of wands is obviously about, the wands is a passion, it is inspiration. It is, I feel like being motivated. So this is about oh, this week about you needing to take a creative stance on something that you are already very passionate about um, stepping outside the box with this idea listen to your wise self let your inner compass direct the course of your life so listening so listening to your inner guidance as well as possibly your intuition as well and I feel like there's a need for this week to work on your solar plexus chakra simply because of this color here. Um, this golden 
type of color, working on your personal power, um, being more vocal and more, I feel like needing to realize you're creating your own destiny here. Um, Self-mastery even, or mastery, however you say it, but... Um, And those ideas that are coming to you, they have been divinely guided from higher powers or from uh, higher sources. For every action, there is a reaction. Choose wisely. So choice. You have a choice, I feel like, to either move forward with something or I feel like an offer could be coming to you this week for some of you or just a need to finally accept an offer that you've already been given this is the week for you to finalize it possibly um it is based on something that like I said you are passionate about so some choices are coming for you this week for some of you this is about a creative project in some type of divinely guided idea or for some of you this will be ideas coming to you this week in which you would need to choose from those ideas um so that you can um, start to move forward so we have courage i'm trying to see if i may have okay yes i think that's upright some of these for some reason i keep my these piles have been upside down but courage so like i said working on your personal power power number two talked about <clears throat> um I, if i can remember like being brave so to speak um putting yourself out there so having the courage to go after this idea it's an idea that's going to come to you if it hasn't already regarding um possibly like something that not many people do or not many people you know have had success with and i feel like you're going to be given some courage some motivation as well this week and you could even be the person giving out this courage to someone else regarding these choices and these ideas and projects um so this week surrender your addictions whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction or addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So uh, this is about doing something in moderation. Having the courage to give up something so that you can move forward with something else. An addiction is codependency. It does not even have to be any of these things listed here. It could be anything that you're addicted to. You could even be addicted to watching too much TV, listening to certain types of music, um wearing certain types of clothing being around certain type of people whatever that is spirit says you have the free will choice to let it go you've always had the courage and the strength to let it go but you never put that courage to the test so this week is your need to put this to the test to release certain things that are not healthy for you this week um time out yeah moderation time out letting go of things that you don't really need so 37 uh yeah Pretty much what I said here is what I feel like this is about. This could be about taking a break from something or just completely giving up something, releasing some type of energy that is not doing you any good, listening to your body um, and listening to, um, like I said, your soul is longing for you to release something. So career transition. So for some of you, you're going to take a career transition this week. Could be delays in products, could be delays in sales, could be uh not even just delays just general career changes okay you show me where your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change or a blessed career change um and it looks like once you kind of let go of these these addictions whatever these codependencies are this is actually going to help you with your career and you finding something that is more fitting for you or something happening within the career you already have that is going to get better um it could even be a time out from a certain career uh, transition. And for some of you, this could be maybe layoffs or something that have already happened. Or could be this week where they're happening. But for the time out, I feel like this is about the moderation thing that we talked about rather than the career. But what would love do? 
do you know why it's easy for us to for us in the unseen to quickly pinpoint your whereabouts you leave behind footprints of love the universe ps the legend of bigfoot continues so what i feel like this this is about i feel like this is the moderation message here what would love do love would not allow you to be dealing with these things that are constantly producing producing negative energy around you love is pure okay yes you go through things in love or you know we're not saying just romance but just love in general even doing things that you love to do but love is something that you don't necessarily give up on so i feel like this is telling you to choose love of a fear and not to give on the, up on the things that you love to do not to give up on your career or a creative project but to give up the things that your body or just in your energy in general would not be healthy for you love would not let those things stay around um relaxation yeah time out taking a break from something moderation same message i feel like i'm repeating myself so i'm not going to really say nothing about that but it's just further validation so we have new beginnings so yeah once you release those things you are going to be blessed with new beginnings new fresh starts um yeah just know that a new day begins every day and in those new days you have the opportunity to make a difference and to do something different and to learn from your previous mistakes that may have happened yesterday last year last week whatever the case is um but yeah <clears throat> So that is all I have for pile number three. Please let me know if it resonated or what you took from it. Um, or if you enjoyed it, please let me know also what you'd like me to see, see me do next. Please like, share, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. And again, if you like a personal reading, there'll be the links will be in the description box below. And if you're interested in any of these decks, they'll be there as well. They are affiliate links, which means that if you decide to purchase, not just click, but purchase, that will possibly earn me a small commission which in turn only helps me support my channel be able to provide you with more content by buying more decks or other spiritual related materials and it also helps me make ends meet so if you're interested in that um it is at no extra cost to you um yeah so i wish you guys love and light and i will see you in the next one